All right, uh, continue to be with us, Imran. But we have some big breaking news coming in that the Chief Minister and the Home Minister of the state of uh, Karnataka are all set to now shortly from now leave for Bengaluru. That's the big updates coming in, even as the investigations have proceeded further. And in all this likelihood, they will be in fact uh, uh, holding a meeting and later on meeting with the family members as well. We are still awaiting more details of this particular visit, but remember the Chief Minister has been closely looking at the investigation and the case. They have already set up a special task force, a commando force, who will now be tackling as far the, these uh, radical organizations in the future as far as in the state is concerned. And the big update that both the Chief Minister and Home Minister of the state will be in fact shortly from now leaving for Mangaluru. Right, they are going to be meeting uh, Praveen's family members. Remember, the Chief Minister uh, in fact hinted at the possible role of radical groups today, which has been confirmed by the top cop. Let's go across to Pranesh, is joining us from the news, but this is a big development given the exclusive images and the CCTV footage that we've accessed. Now, the Chief Minister and Home Minister to visit Praveen's skin. That's right. Deepak Imran and Neha are keeping us on top of this story. Times now leading the coverage of uh, this campaign, seeking justice for Praveen. Look what we have, Swati. We have the still images of the two accused. One of them allegedly linked to the PFI, say the cops. Times now is not saying it. The Bangalore, the Karnataka police is saying that one of them, Zakir, is linked to... All right, uh, we are cut to the ADG law and order. He is the man in charge of the investigation. He has spoken to Times now over the last two days, and uh, the leads that the we, the leads that the channel has accessed. Look at this photo instant. In uh, for example, the time is 8:18 in the evening, and what you see on the screen are two bikes. One is this, the other is this. This is the date and time. Here at the top uh, corner, this is the shop that was owned by the chicken shop, owned by Praveen. Now we are being told, although the information is sketchy at the moment, that these are the two individuals who came with a plan to kill Praveen. One of these bites had a Kerala number plate. Now, we don't know which bike was that, whether it is this one or uh, the one on the left. But one of these bikes had a Kerala number plate. The killers went to the shop. They waited for the right time. And when they found Praveen alone, they hit him on the head. Praveen was then chased. And on this empty stretch, late in the evening, when it was dark, he was hacked to death. And just moments later, both these killers fled. Now the police, apart from this CCTV that uh, you are seeing on Times Now viewers, the police has also accessed three other CCTV tapes, the details of which will be emerging shortly. But for the moment, we have accessed the pictures of the alleged killers that's playing on the left. Let's split the screen. Let's put the killers on the left hand side and the CCTV that Imran has, ma has managed to access. Now, if Imran is there, Swati, you could tell him to just uh, walk us through the next three stills. In fact, I have those stills also, and let's go to them. In now, fact, in Pradesh, we'll try to go back to Imran shortly. He is uh, currently uh, not accessible to us, but we'll patch him shortly. But before that, we'll once again play out that response coming in from the ADG law and order in the state who has now confirmed that there is a certain PFI link in the case.
All right, let's go back to Pranesh. Pranesh, we'll play out that reaction in a short while from now and we'll also connect with Imran. But uh, do take us through the uh, stills, grabs from the CCTV that we have accessed. In the first photo, there were two bites. Now, we have been told in photo number two, what you see is a bike. There is a man wearing a helmet and, there, and uh, there's another man riding pillion. He does not have a helmet. And this is the number plate, uh, you know, the, the footage is draining. You can't really see what's written on the number plate. But top sources who are privy to the details of the investigation in the Praveen murder case are suggesting that this bike, the one uh, on the right hand side of the road, which was not close to the shop and uh, that had a pillion, this had a Kerala number plate. Now, these are still uh, under the po police lens. We, are, we can't confirm this independently, but uh, if you see image number three, you see that the biker who was standing on the other side of the road is now here. That biker is now here, and the biker who was standing here earlier has moved out of frame to somewhere here. Now, this is the shop. This area here is the chicken shop that Praveen owned. So you have a situation where one biker is stationed on the other side, on the right hand side of the shop and one on the left and the pillion has suddenly dis disappeared. So there, there's only one man, uh, one ma man on the bike. He's riding the bike. Now where's the other man gone? Has he walked down the road and has he gone to engage Praveen in some sort of conversation? We don't know. But what we know is how Praveen was hacked to death. Some people approached him engaged him in a conversation he was f and when he was busy someone attacked him on his head from behind and then praveen uh, started running praveen was chased and then hacked to death on this uh, empty stretch of road late at night when the lights were dim uh, the images that you're showing us and from what Imran told us earlier, uh, the position of the bike changes and the time lapse on the CCTV footage uh, tells you that the bike was parked there for around 40 minutes. Imran earlier also told us, Pranesh, that uh, these killers, the suspects on ground were actually conducting a Reiki, waiting for Praveen to arrive. Finished. That's right. According to the leads that we have managed to access so far, there were four to five individuals involved in this uh, killing. Three of whom you can see on camera, two people on one bike, then uh, one person riding the other bike. And then, and let's go to image number three. Now this portion, which uh, we've circled in green, this is the chicken shop. And if you see the time here, the first picture had a timestamp of 8.18. The first had the timestamp of 8.18. The second was around 8.24.25. And look at the timestamp here. The date is the same. It's now 8.40 in the evening. And around this time, you don't see the bikers here. Because two people apparently right. were hacking him to death. In fact, uh, third... Pranesh, sorry to interrupt you there, but we are joined by Imran once again, who will also take us through the entire footage that we have accessed. Yes, Imran, as Pranesh has been explaining for us the entire sequence of events of what exactly transpired on that evening when Praveen was in fact murdered. Uh, what more are you picking up as far as the investigation is concerned? Once again, the ADG law and order was in fact being uh, approached by the media there. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, he was the police station where the two accused have been kept there. Zakir and uh, uh, Shafiq, both of them, one of the prime accused in this murder of uh, BJP, you, uh, uh, I mean, you are more leader, Pra Praveen Nettaro. And uh, what we're getting to know that one week earlier itself, this uh, people had come and done a recce of this entire place. They were monitor monitoring the movements of Praveen and they were keeping a t tight vigil and watch on, the, on his movements and his shop and his house. And you can see in the CCTV footage for almost 40 minutes, the bike is there. They, knew, they were monitoring each and every step. They knew that at this point of time, Praveen is alone and that when he closed his shop at 8 p.m. in the night and uh, when he went, want, uh, wanted to leave to his house, that's the time they, they found him vulnerable. There was no one alone with him and that's the point they attack him and that's the 60 footage is what even the very grainy... Uh,
catch us a bit of what exactly happened that fateful night. Now, the based on which the police have made arrests, they are very tight-lipped about the investigation because it's, it involves also people from across the border uh, involved in the murder case. The cops are saying that close to 15 people were picked up for the questioning, out of which two they have shown arrest, uh, and uh, they are going to further right, ask absolutely. for remarks. These, of, course are, of course, are stills from the CCTV footage, but the police has access to the entire footage, and they are looking at uh, the footage in its entirety, and like the ADGP law and order said, arrests have happened based based on evidence. So definitely uh, this CCTV footage holds key to what really transpired that night. Imran, thank you very much uh, for joining us with those details. Thank you to Pranesh as well for getting us additional information on the CCTV grabs.